Sheep's Head Bay is old school New York. It's the kind of place generations of Italians, Irish, Russians, and Jews have settled, drawn by the quiet charm and view of this working class South Brooklyn neighborhood. Voorhees Avenue, with its tidy, well-kept row houses, is typical of Sheep's Head Bay, except for one major difference, this gaping hole. Many of the folks here on Voorhees Avenue were born and raised on this block. They brought up their families here. They plan to retire here. But now they say that's all up in the air, thanks to the proposed construction of this mega mosque smack dab in the middle of their quiet residential neighborhood. We basically fight for our quality of life. People invest in their houses, in their lives here. Victor Benari is a member of the Bay People, a local group opposed to the building of a three-story mosque on tiny Voorhees Avenue. Why in this quiet, nice uh, neighborhood? Why it's not in a commercial street? The Bay People have expressed their concerns in several peaceful protests, only to be labeled as racists and Islamophobes by Muslim and left-wing counter-protesters. They'll have the microphone and they'll mock us, they'll curse at us, they'll condemn us for what we're saying. CBN News recently sat down with members of the Bay People. They told us the mosque would cause major traffic, parking and noise issues, including the Islamic call to prayer five times a day. They say their opposition is not based on religion. So the church or synagogue you would also oppose because of the quality of life issues. It's residential. It's it's not that this place. The not a library here would be against it. They wonder why a large mosque is planned for a residential street where no Muslim families reside. In fact, they say, the small Muslim community in Sheepshead Bay is located several blocks away from the mosque site. We welcome the Muslim family to build their house and to be good neighbor. But we're not welcome this facility in the wrong place and back up with the wrong uh, organization behind that. That would be the Muslim American Society, or MASS, a group whose leaders admit was created by the radical Muslim Brotherhood, a jihadist movement founded in Egypt that seeks to establish Islamic Sharia law worldwide. These days, mass officials attempt to distance themselves from the Brotherhood, at least publicly. But a 2004 expose by the Chicago Tribune said that in recent years, the U.S. Brotherhood operated under the name Muslim American Society. It was incorporated in Illinois in 1993 after a contentious debate among Brotherhood members. When the leaders voted, it was decided that Brotherhood members would call themselves the Muslim American Society, or MASS. Revelations like that have the Bay people worried about what their new neighbors might teach behind closed doors. So do Muslim Brotherhood documents uncovered by the FBI that identify Islamic centers as the axis of the Brotherhood's operations in America, where battalions are supplied for the movement. How do you deal with the people? who embraces enemies of the United States. You, I cannot, I don't think anybody can. In addition to the mosque in Sheepshead Bay, Mass recently attempted to purchase property in nearby Staten Island. Their bid was rejected after a huge public outcry. The group did succeed, however, in opening a massive mosque outside Boston in 2009 that boasted a price tag of over $15 million. It follows a nationwide trend. In 2001, there were 1,200 mosques in the United States. In the past 10 years, that number has nearly doubled to over 2,000 mosques. One recent study found that 81% of those U.S. mosques feature Islamic literature that advocates violence. The Bay people say New York City officials ignore all of their concerns. When you take out your mortgage, you work your two jobs, you try to raise a family and then someone comes along that they don't want to answer you. They're just told, well, you have to deal with this now. It's a house of worship. All the considerations are given to them. No one's met with us to hear our needs, our concerns. The double lot which would house the mass mosque went for a whopping $800,000. And construction on the facility will likely cost at least another million. Although the property owner, a Yemeni immigrant named Ahmed Alawi, has said the funds are all locally raised, the Bay people have their doubts. They note that Saudi Arabia has financed countless mosques across the U.S. and Europe. The owner, we never hear from him. 
he'll come to the rallies and he'll hide behind children. He'll stand behind people. But you never see him in the front of the barricade. Alawi and mass leaders in Brooklyn did not respond to CBN's repeated request for comment. Their Voorhees Avenue property already faces some $30,000 in fines for building violations. The Bay people say their best chance to stop the mosque would be to convince the city of New York to change zoning laws that they believe are outdated. They warn this fight has ramifications far beyond Brooklyn. We need to stand together in our small communities such as Sheepsa Bay. Sheepsa Bay goes, so goes the... It's coming to you. I kid you not, it's going to be in your neighborhood. Eric Stackelbeck, CBN News, Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn.